Hey guys, just a really brief video on how to use the Android app for our smart battery shunt. So you just want to go to the Google Play Store and download an app called Smart Battery Monitor. And once that's downloaded, you're going to open it up. It's going to ask you for some permissions sometimes, you just want to accept them. You should see your device pop up if you're nearby. If it's plugged in, it's got power and everything, it should just pop up here. And I recommend turning on Auto Connect, just that way it'll, you know, connect as soon as it's available. And you can see here, you can also change the name of it. So that's just a default name. It's just gonna be a random combination of letters and numbers there. But anyway, you can hit connect, just wait for it to do its thing. And you're gonna be on there and you're gonna see all your statistics here. So your voltage, capacity, current, power, everything you want. And we've got basic settings. So you can just change the settings in here, the rated capacity, under voltage, full battery voltage, all that stuff. And you can save it down here. And then here you can get a graph of like any statistic you want over time. So you can change the axis. Obviously I've got no chart data available right now because I've just connected it. It's just hooked up to a battery right now for testing purposes. But uh, yeah, so you could change the axis. It'll just have the X axis here would be time. So just, you know, you can see the change over time. You can have two vertical axes as well that could show anything you set here. So you could have current and you could have voltage. There you go. A graph shot up now. That's obviously been barely any time, but you can see on the right side, you got voltage on the left side, you got amps. And then, yeah, that's about it. There's just some information there and yeah, all good.